We are following breaking news on Jacksonville's north side tonight where police are investigating at a motel off Hearts Road and Dunn Avenue. We have confirmed through Jacksonville Councilman Reggie Gaffney that one person has been shot. Now this is far from the first time police have had to come out to that hotel. Just about three weeks ago, Gaffney said he has asked the state for help shutting it down. Gaffney said at the time that he blames the drug trade for the violence and he also asked that he has asked Sheriff Mike Williams to shut that motel down. We thank you for joining us on First Coast News at 11. I'm Jeff Ballin. Kaylee Tracy is standing by live at the scene at the Gold Rush Motel. Kaylee. Yeah, Jeff, and tonight we just spoke with the councilman and he tells us each time something like this happens out here, something related to violence at this motel, that he gets about 10 to 15 calls from community members. He got several of those calls tonight. He says around 9 p.m. he got out here. I'm going to step aside so you can just take a look at the scene here. He says again around 9 p.m. community members told him that a 20 year old man was shot. He is not sure of that man's condition, but says the man was brought to the hospital. JSO has not confirmed that information, but we are awaiting a press briefing from JSO at some point. We are not sure on of the time on that. Gaffney tells us that he is frustrated with the gold rush and that his number one goal is to close it, calling it, quote, a drug infested prostitution ring. And he's not going to sugarcoat it. He tells us that it, during the day, he says it looks like an innocent place, but at night it turns into a crime scene. And as Jeff did tell us, he is getting the state involved in this. And we'll be sure to keep you updated, of course, on air and online, not only about this incident tonight, but about the councilman's efforts to close this motel. For now, reporting live, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Kaylee.